Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. My favorite time of month is the hacker box arriving. Oh, look at this. It's a lanyard. A uh, lanyard. What does that mean? Uh, what do we have here? Uh, 2.2s. Oh, it's a, it's a display. Hmm. What are we going to do with a display, I wonder? SPI 2.2 inch TFT. Oh, look at that with a with a memory card, QVGA. Oh, look at that. And it's actually got labels on its pins, right? so we don't have to go futzing around trying to figure out what that is. This, I would imagine, is, yeah, SD card, cable select, SD Mosey. And is this pass through, passing things through? Uh, three o'clock. Uh, no, I think that this is for the backlight only and this is for the card reader if we want to use it all right <clears throat> so we have one of those Ooh. oh 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 yay more esp32 i think unless this is something different right, come on get out of there darn you unless this is something different but it looks like The <coughs> ESP32? Yes, it is. The room. Room, room, room. There we go. I've got another ESP32 dev board. And who makes this one? We'll have to look it up. All right. So we've got an ESP32. We've got a Hack the Planet bracelet. We've got another USB to micro USB cable. In blue this time. Well, at least we're collecting colors. Um, some more DuPont jumpers. Apparently, well, I was about to say you can't have enough of these, but I'm pretty sure that at some point you can have enough of them. Um, and what is this? Electrosup? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what this is. What do we got here? It is a two in one charge discharge. Oh, maybe it's a battery charger. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll have to look that up. D, oh man, charge and discharge. V in, ground, battery, ground, 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 V out. Okay. Um, it's a 5 volt something or other. Maybe that's 5 volts out, and the battery goes in, and you can charge up a battery, and it's a boost converter for a LiPo? Maybe. I don't know. We'll look that up. Um, and what else do we have? Oh, a bag of components, which means there is some soldering to do. Oh, yeah, look at this thing. It is a... Oh, it's a splodger splooging tool a nice one too something you're not going to cut your hand on too much and and hack the planet hacker boxes okay so that is our tft display oh it's kind of that's our esp32 goes in there a two-in-one battery manager <clears throat> Looks like we're going to SMD that into place. So is this scored? I think that is scored, so we can break that off. Okay, we need to put a pin header on that side so we can access the SD card. Looks like we got a bunch of uh, buttons to go on here. Do we have any buttons? Oh, no, those are LEDs. Those are NeoPixels, uh, I'm guessing, based on the uh, footprint from the board here. And we've got some... Yeah, current limiting resistors there, I'm guessing. Um, those look like through holes, but uh, anyways. Oh, what do we have here? Reverse engineer. I wonder what the hell have us doing, have us doing with all of this cool stuff. Okay, LCD module, yes, two-in-one charge discharge battery manager. 
some WS2812Bs, NeoPixel-like, well, RGB LEDs. Let's not get carried away. They might not be um, programmable and addressable. And we have the ESP32 room. Hmm. Not a lot of hints. Box guide at hackerboxes.com. Uh, hacks or school. Hmm. Well, it's not even obvious to me right off the off the whack what I'm supposed to do with this thing. So that's good. Gives me some room to pause. Okay, so it's got a speaker. It's got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Blinky lights. It's got some capacitors that go in here. And it's got a capacitor that goes in there. But I don't have a battery for it in the box. Is that an oversight or is that something they just can't ship? Um, hmm. Kind of suck if they just can't ship it. Okay, yeah, of course they're NeoPixels. I mean, what am I thinking? Uh, data in, data out, um, VSS, VDD. So, yeah, so you power and you've got a, a chain of data going in here. And these are, I don't know if you can see the traces underneath the uh, solder mask and silk screening. But uh, those are being together we've got a trace going between here and then we've got some capacitance going uh, yeah so those are connected there's a capacitor across there um, which is filtering power across these pins so now I just have to make sure I get the orientation correct for the um, for the NeoPixels. And they can only really go two ways. Um, and you've got them, you'll either have them in backwards or you'll have them in frontwards. So, <clears throat> so for the NeoPixels, come on. So for the NeoPixels, let's open these guys up and see if we've got any markings on them that are recognizable. Mm, no. Yeah, you see that little dot there? That is a microprocessor that these things um, have in them and you can address them. Um, got to play with NeoPixels back in uh, the uh, Get the Lead Out uh, hacker box. But let me just take a check. Okay, so there's the typical application circuit. There's the capacitors, the, uh, what is that? Uh, one, one nanofarad, 104s. Um, so there should be a plus five going in to VDD. And VSS, of course, is connected to um, ground. So we can ring out the board to figure out where everything is and uh, get them oriented. Let's move on to that. All right, pretty sure that uh, that via is to a ground plane on the back. And I can confirm that because this guy, VCC ground, so two pins in, yes. So that is also a ground there. So those are grounds, so that would make that ground. And then this is going to here. And then from there, it goes to ground. 
Right. So that is... Okay, temporary moment of insanity there. Of course, that's filtering the output. Um, so, yeah, no, why, why would I expect this? Because this is incoming power coming into our battery charger, but this is filtering the output, so yeah, that's going to there. And that's also going to there. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so that's VC, VDD. And that's going to be to ground, yes. And then this is ground as well. Yeah, okay. I think we've got ourselves oriented. So, <clears throat> given the fact that they've included a jumper, I have to assume that that little um, thing there is supposed to be a header, and you bridge the leftmost two pins if you're running off a of battery, and you bridge the rightmost two pins if you're running off of a, um, the USB, which is this guy being plugged in. So now I just have to confirm why they have included a protection diode. Um, And uh, we'll have to do a little bit of poking around on this. On the development board, notice that this is 1117 3.3 uh, volts. So 5 volts in gives this guy 3.3 volts, which is what it needs. Um, these are 3.3 devices. And so the next little bit of um, fingering out that we have to do is do a little reverse engineering on this guy just to see what the heck it does um, and how it's supposed to chooch. Okay, so it looks like we got one of these things on our hands. Um, input is either um, 4.5 up to 8 volts. We've also got a battery, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery, and we've got 5 volt boost DC output. Um, and uh, yeah, the input is for the charging current, and the output is, uh, input is for charging, and the output is for, looks like, regulated output. So, yeah, that's what's supposed to be hooked up there. Still not sure what the diode's for. Okay, so we've got the jumper on. Let's see what happens when we plug her in. Oh, something happens. Power. Is it booting? What is it doing? Are you doing something? I have to touch here. Nada, nada. Is something supposed to happen? I see some flickering. I'm not sure what that's about. But, okay, in my haste to just rush blindly ahead and put this thing together, I should have read the instructions and it would have given me some interesting hints about assembly. In particular, this header, although useful for removing the module and reusing it later, creates some interference between the battery charging module and this little jobby here. So I have to, f I think, just bend that down out of the way and life will continue on and on. And otherwise I could just pull this puppy out, desolder this, and solder that straight on with uh, onto here so that it clears the antenna. And that's what I was Sorry, 
I could just solder that onto there, desolder that, solder that onto there. Um, no lipo included. This is a jumper. Um, this diode is probably a protection diode for when you put your lipo on there, so you don't put it in in reverse reverse polarity. Um, and then we have to figure out a way to put a lipo on the back. And it just so happens that I've been <clears throat> salvaging laptop batteries, and so I have a nice lipo lipo right there that I can use. These charged up nicely. They, let's see, we should check their voltage. They should be around four volts. Uh, volts 20, that's plus, that's minus. Yeah, 4.15, so nominal 3.7. They'll, the circuit will operate down to 3.7. So uh, this is a, not a charge, this is not a protection circuit. This is a charging circuit. It would probably be a good idea to put some sort of pro battery protection on that thing, which I have kicking around somewhere. Some ch I have some charge circuits and some protection circuits to prevent overcurrent, or just, why not, just solder it in there and say you've got a, um, a bomb around your neck, which is about the same thing. Anyways, um, yeah, and... They didn't even program this guy with anything. I'm gonna to have to program it myself. I thought there would be some sort of cool um, hacking to be done on this, like some of the conference badges that you're gonna see at DEF CON, if you go. Um, I will put a link to an embedded episode um, where uh, the uh, they interview um, the maker of the last year's conference badge, which was incredible incredibly awesome avail uh oh, man that thing had layers upon layers of hacking to be done on it um including finding um a game that was an operating system that if you hacked the operating system you would get to a command shell that you could use to change the badge so you had to first figure out how to start the game well first of all there's the normal stuff your name blah 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 um if you got them together, you could play a networked game on them. If you opened up the uh, the network, the the game on the uh, on the bat, you've got to listen to it. It was an amazing, amazing collection of of stuff that they crammed into the conference badge. And uh, yeah, uh, link in the uh, description. So um, yeah. Um, I'm going to do a little more, a little remediation on, on this guy. Take, pull this guy off, solder this guy in directly. I don't imagine that I'll need to reuse this. And if I do, I just desolder it. Um, and it looks like we've got some, uh, some ways of implementing capacitive touch for a user interface to here because these guys are connected to some pins. At least I'm expecting that that's what these are for. And then we've got some an addressable LEDs that we could do things with. So, um, yeah, it should be fun to see what we can't build, what we can build into this thing. Um, and uh, that will be for the future. Anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching that. And I hope I didn't lead anybody down the garden path with the, uh, with the early stuff. Um, Thanks for watching.